And my goodness gracious me, Liverpool needed a win, and a win is what they got. A late header from Joel Matip seals the three points against Ajax. Liverpool took the lead early on through Mo Salah. Kudos equalised for Ajax in the first half. It was one all at half time. Another time when Liverpool didn't go into half time with the lead. They hustled and bustled and worked really, really hard. Ajax missed probably the biggest chance of the second half with Daly Blind's header at the back post. That could have broke our hearts. Thankfully, he used to play for Man United and missed. Therefore, that would have been good to the leader scored it. And in the end, Joel Matip wins the game. And I think the result... I think the best team won. I think Ajax are really good, by the way, and this is no. I think they are a really good team. And but Liverpool worked hard, and that's what Champions League games against the group once pot one side rather should look like. It shouldn't be easy. But the Reds, mo- but first thing first, they competed, they ran the nuts off, they worked hard, they had quality set plays, all the things that you associate with Liverpool. We look back to being Liverpool a bit there, didn't yeah. we? It was more. You that was a more Liverpool performance. Yeah, it was a more Liverpool like performance, and you weren't there in like. In, in abundance but there was enough signs to show that whatever Bollock and Klopp gave them last week yep. has resonated it's sunk in and I think you know one of the things that we said when you said about the, the pot one see the teams and whatever in the draw the one thing you have to do is apply yourselves and you have to work harder than the other teams no one's beat Ajax this season in fact they've won every single game they've played you know they lost their version of like the community sheet but since then they were 7 from 7 scored 25 you know, only can see the three, and I know everyone thinks like you know the Dutch league might not be the greatest, you know, league ever, but they're a good, and they show that there they're a very good team, you know. And Liverpool, they had to make Liverpool make Liverpool work hard. But what I would say is that then I don't know, I don't know, a Napoli that much better than Ajax, probably not mm. in theory. Mm. But Liverpool were miles better today, yeah. and they more than matched. And I think I think they deserve to win, and. We can see Jürgen on our screen now it's going big, down to the cop. It's a, it's a big relief. Was you know we, we big sigh of relief from Jürgen. Yeah, gives it a big breathe out. Waves to the cop. Is he going? He's always tells him to calm down. I'm not going to. He tells him he's not going to do the fist pumps. Yeah, you really want him to? Yeah. I, th- I think when you when he's you... not going to. So go, to, go, to go back to it, if he does do the fist pumps, I am going to. By the way, in, interrupt. But yeah, I, it, we just we look more like Jürgen Klopp's Liverpool, and that's the biggest thing for me. The results brilliant, but that's for the first time this season, other than the nine nil where we've properly looked like us. The, the patterns of play were good. The movement was good. We looked, dang- again, dangerous offset plays. We moved the ball. We defended resolutely at pretty much all the time. Yeah, I'm, I'm very encouraged to do it again. We've got a massive break now, but we, we, but we look like us. That's the, that's the key to it as well, having that massive break now. There's been <laughs> nothing worse going into that break, thinking what if, mm. what could have been, chances that we'd missed, chances that we'd squandered, all of those things that they would have just been playing on the player's mind with no opportunity to put it right. Um, you know, Jamie Brown there says, Thiago's on another level. Absolutely. Thank you for the yeah, super chat. But the, the ability to be able to bring in real quality like that into your midfield will make the world of a difference. The players around you all seem to step up their levels as well, which was noticeable today. I also think, from my perspective, there were signs that this is more like the Liverpool that we've seen of old and, and in the past. And it's not even too far distance either. It's not really. It's a couple couple months the summer before the summer we, we was playing good footy. I think for me, though, I said the most important thing was the results. Like, we could have played well today, dominated everything, give Ajax one chance. They scored it. We created a handful of chances, dominate for the rest of the game. But a draw would have felt like we had dropped, like dropped something. Do you know what I mean? It would have, there'd have just been something in my head. She said, no matter how well we performed, to only walk away with a draw, have they forgotten to win? Yeah, do, yeah, we we've done ourselves a disservice. Whereas for me, the result was always going to be more important than the actual performance today. And I think we found that uh, in the end, I think the end result gives us a nice complement of them both. It gives us the fact that yeah. when you know we will continue to go to that 90th win it minute, and we will dig deep to score a goal. Great, and, and we scored the winner in that time. But it also demonstrates that in the other 80 odd minutes, 89 minutes of the game, there are still elements of that Liverpool team that are clear to see. And provided now we can go and build on that, provided the team can take a little bit of that confidence back to say, Do you know what? You know, this isn't a Bournemouth side that we've just walked over 9 0 that are probably going to be fighting for relegation in it towards the end of the season. This is an Ajax team that are really competitive, that are really up for it, that are running, <laughs> running away early doors with their league and have started in fantastic form. They're probably one of the most form outfits of Europe. 
and we're at home but we've used our home advantage to get us over the line and we've actually got the win that's something that you can actually take real yeah. confidence from I think actually the performance I think they deserve you're right to say if you play that well and don't win that's when you start thinking have we just forgot how to win because I thought po- I thought against Palace we play well and we drew and obviously the red card tinders that a little bit but we, we, we were even good until we, until we conceded it's just yeah you wonder have they really forgotten it but now like I say what a constant of Liverpool under the Aiden Club has been late winners. Yeah. We had one against Newcastle, obviously, not, not so long ago. And now we have another one from Joel Matip. I think it's mad to say, but like we look so much better attacking when Matip plays because we looked at our most dangerous when he when he joined the attack and I actually struggled with it. They also struggled off set plays and we kept saying, oh, we just need to get one of these because a couple have gone over the bar, a couple of saves and stuff. I always felt there was one in us. Costas has delivery time and time again, and Trent was really good. I thought Liverpool's best two players on the pitch were the two lads they've just got back from injury, who played a little bit the other day and now fully back to fitness now. Matip Martin and Thiago, yeah. we had a much better side with those two in it because yeah. they are brilliant players. And Matip is just criminally underrated. He's so, so good, like, Joe. Matt, honestly, this guy came in on a free six, nearly six years ago, something like that. Now, seven, probably seven yeah, years ago, we and. We know he's had his injury issues, but again, I think the the same thing can be said about both of these, really. Uh, you could use the exact same phrase. On the pitch, the quality that both of them possess is phenomenal in their respective positions. It's just been their Liverpool careers have been hampered by consistency of being or availability and being able to be brought into games as and when we've needed. We've not always been able to have them to rely on, but when they're in our team, when they're in our starting eleven, by far we look so much of a better outfit with them in with them. And I think Matip for me is the most well and again, not only because of his defensive things, but he complements Virgil so well in the fact that he's he is the one that'll bring the ball out for, in terms of a ball. Like both our defenders, centre backs can play can play the ball. They can both find the pass, they can both pick a pass, he can both ping it, it, but he can carry the ball yeah. forward and he's got the confidence to do that. And I think I've always thought Virgil could probably do that, but he chooses not to and and maybe that's just the style thing, maybe that's I think the it's system. a system thing. But yeah. yeah, I think and again, yeah, you're probably right, it might be the system thing, but there's the responsibility there, but nobody else. Else. And I can, I've seen a Canate do it a few times where he plays a good, pa- but it's a pass out. It's not necessarily carrying the ball. There is no other centre back in our in our team that can carry the ball. I mean, the way they're that a very few world football who can do that. Like this isn't Joel Matip, like say San 2016-17. So this is his, his seventh his seventh season here. Rather, it's only been like semi recently he started. He's done this like a few years ago. I think someone somewhere in training must have been fucking hell. You can do that. Go for it. But but that's. There's very few centre halves in the world who can do that. How many times was he dribbling to the edge of the box, playing it in? Like I say, he gets the headers. He's he's, he's got a few important headers for Liverpool down the years now. But like I say, we've you said for ages Liverpool just need to get players back fit. Two of their best players come back and already look better. I'd include Stars improvements. I'd include Jota. Yeah, as I thought well. Jota played well. He gets, he gets half, his he assist. Really well. yeah. I think he probably got a little bit tired. I think you see that and when he got booted, he got booted yeah, around a few all times over the place. Well, and I think you see that when he uh, Diaz goes and does that run on the left hand side. He just couldn't quite and get he, the legs. Yeah, he just his legs. I think it was around a sixty five minute mark and. 15 minutes earlier and he probably busts a go to try and get into the box to try and obviously get on the end of it there and I think he I think at that point he probably knew yeah I've, I've ran my socks off there's not a lot left in my tank and he probably knew he was going to be coming off around a 70 minute mark but I think another bright performance I mean I think with, with Jota as I said to you before it might have been half time the thing I like about when, when we've got him in that front three and he's a bit more of a focal point is he's happy to either get the ball with his back to goal and play somebody in one two it's not about holding on to it's not about trying to turn and get it it's just quick instinctive or if he gets the ball on the half turn he's happy to run at defenders and commit people and I think that's the 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 difference between him and Bobby. Bobby drops so much deeper to get the ball, and then wants to continue running the ball deep to pass back towards midfield and back to goal. It's not very much. I'm going to turn, get on the half turn, and look at my options while I'm going forward. Jota's first thought is, how can I get the ball going forward <laughs> and me, and me going forward in the same movement? He's got that. Go- Bobby's not as selfish as Jota, and I mean that in a in a in both a positive and a negative, really, in that. Jota just wants to score. Yeah, he's thinking all the time. How can I score or set one up? Yeah, you're right. His first instinct is to just fucking turn and just go. And that sometimes you need. And I thought, like I say, we've well, all. If he lays it off to someone, it's like right. I can get myself in the box now. Yeah. I've done my bit. I've I've kept the ball. Yeah. I've kept it moving. I can get myself in the box. And that's always going to be his first instinct. His instinct isn't to just be hanging around in in that midfield space and and trying to knit the play or or 
or trying to, you know, work work out who's, who needs to move where and move what defender about. He's not really trying to overcomplicate things. He probably knows that's not his game as well. So for him, it's just literally give, go, get in the box. Give, go, get in the box. Rinse and repeat. Absolutely. Like I say, Liverpool played very, very, very well. I thought, I think they deserved that too. I know Ajax did miss a big chance, but I think on the balance of play, I think the fair result was us winning that one. Like I say, goals from Mo Salah and a late Joel Matipeda got Liverpool three very, very, very big points in their Champions League group. Right, guys, there's more to come from us in terms of post-match reaction. The tweet is out now on our socials. Go to At The Red Men TV, bring, bring the tweet up, reply to it, and Errol will read the best replies in our fan reaction show. If you're a YouTube member, you can get your thoughts read out on that show as well. And or if you are a Red Men Plus club legend, use the Discord chat and get your thoughts in for the fan reaction show. I will then be over at the board for the player rating show. Will be a much more pleasant experience this week than it was last week because last week was absolutely rubbish. This week the Reds were really, really good. Keep an eye out of well from Anfield. We've got Paul's reaction and the fan cam with Chloe, Chris, Paul. I think Ross is going to join the guys. Sadge is going to be there as well. We've got a full team down there for you. And then later on on Red Men Plus the instant match reaction me and Errol will take a, a, consi- a more considered look at that game a game it's not a game good game a guy, like good, a, good guy. Good guys like Bruce Forsyth there at that game between Liverpool and Ajax but we told you about three hours ago the dream team when the dream team are in the Reds win and Come they won him. again Come catch us all him. later see you in a bit Thank you so, so much for joining us on this video. Do drop a like and share it on social media if you enjoyed. And if you want more from us, please do consider joining Red Men Plus, our Liverpool streaming service. Get access to documentaries about Liverpool legends, past and present, interviews with Liverpool legends, past and present, and more Red Men shows each and every week in video and in podcast. It's redmenplus.com.